Welcome back. Hey, today I'm going to go over a tutorial on how to uh, remove your iPhone 5C uh, LCD, broken LCD. Uh, this customer has an outer box, but uh, I guess it did not protect it because uh, one of the friends was throwing the phone and he did not catch it and all of a sudden the phone, uh, I'm not sure it fell out of the case or what's going on and then uh, the whole screen fell apart like this. As you can see the home button is uh, broken and hopefully the front-facing camera is not damaged. As you can see, uh, he put a layer of uh, <coughs> silver frame on top of the black uh, LCD. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's a crack on the corner here. And there's a lot of bubble. So anyway, today I'm going to show you the tutorial on how to uh, remove it without uh, the suction cup. As you can see, when you purchase the uh, LCD screen or digitizer, normally it comes with a tool set like this and it has a suction cup. So, unless your LCD is attached to the your phone, then you could use a suction cup to remove it. But unfortunately, this uh, damage was uh, pretty hard hit on the ground. Normally you do to put a suction cut right here and they just uh, pull it out. But you gotta unscrew the two of the pentalobe uh, screws on the bottom. And uh, make sure you have a case. This is uh, my memory case to store those uh, tiny screws. And uh, make sure you want to store it in here so you don't get lost. So first of all, you need to get your pentalobe uh, screwdriver. Sorry about my nail, it's kind of yellow because I peel tangerine, oranges. Anyway, a lot of viewers are questioning me about my finger, dirty fingernails. This is the where it comes uh, handy, okay? I'll show it to you. So you want to go ahead and then uh, remove those uh, two pendulum screws. Okay, just insert in there and then just counterclockwise on both uh, screws. You see, it come out already. And normally, your uh, screwdriver should. Be Kind of magnetize. If it's not mag magnetized, you want to go ahead and then uh, uh, rubber against the mag magnet. So as you can see, the two pendle screws are right here. You want to go ahead and put inside a case or storage uh, case so you don't lose it. I put it in here for now. As you can see, the home button is, is broken off. I'll put that aside. So you want to go ahead and then uh, try to pry out over here. Because uh, normally when you put a suction cup, you are putting the force here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and yank it. But that's why where I use my fingernail to kind of dig in as a like a guitar pick. So I go around the edges while I put this uh, outward, okay? Not not too hard, just uh, barely. See now the screen, uh, the frame, the plastic frame, it come apart now, as you can see. Now, you want to lift up from the bottom, okay? You don't want to lift up from the top because all the ribbon cables are on the top. Unless your camera and uh, LCD and your digitizer, are, the ribbon cable is all broken, then you don't mind. But some of the screen that does not come with the camera, front-facing camera, so then you so it, if you purchase a screen and digitizer that come with the front facing camera and the home button, then you could just uh, yank it out. But as you can see, uh, the camera is still attached. As you can see, the ribbon cable is right there. And this is the SIM card. You don't need to remove the SIM card because you are just seeing, uh, just uh, popping up the, the screen. You're not taking out the whole uh, main board, okay? So as you can see uh, right here, there are one, two, three, four screws. You want to make a note of here, okay? The one over here, one, two, three, those are the short screws. And then right here, the one on the upper right hand corner, this is the longest screw. So you don't want to mix up the screw, okay? And just use your, uh, I guess it's a uh, Philip Zero, Screwdriver, screwdriver. And then uh, just uh, unscrew it counterclockwise. And see, the screw come out. Put that aside for now. And the second one, as you can see, the screw is very short. And then one over here. Okay. And then this one is the longest one, okay? Make sure you guys uh, take a note of that. And what I what we want to do is just to lift up the whole whole plate, the cover plate. Oh, yeah, screw pop in. See, as you can see, the screw is is pretty long. Okay, so that's the longest one, and it's on the. That'll be right here, okay? So you want to put this away and then uh, storage in the case. So now you know which one is short, which one is long. And you can go ahead and put it in with your plate and just close it. You don't want uh, someone to walk by and kick it and then you lose all your screws. And then now all you do is just uh, pop up those uh, three cables. Let's see. There's one over here, two, and then three, okay? You can just use your fingernail or use a pry tool. I use my fingernail because I have a long fingernails. Just uh, pop it open. Okay, there's one. And then there's one right here. You pop it. 
that's two and there's another one right here it's not this one okay this is for the battery oh no battery is right here sorry this is probably for the home button no so you got three cables uh, one is for the front-facing camera that'll be this one one is for digitizer and one is for the LCD screen okay so that's why you got three uh, flex cables so if you need to remove the battery this will be your uh, battery terminal right here you need to remove those two two bar uh, two screws and then pop up this uh, uh, metal protector to pop it open this is just to secure it so the cable doesn't come apart and then lose connection and then this is the vibrator So prior to uh, transfer your uh, home button, if you purchase uh, a LCD that does not come with the, the back play, the front facing camera, and then the earpiece, and then the home button, you will need to uh, unscrew these two screws. One, two for the home button, and there's a contact right here is has a double-sided uh, glue tape to you need to heat it up and then uh, pop it out and then transfer it to your new LCD and to take out the back plate you need to there's a one screw here oh, this one's broken up anyway one two three four five four five and then uh, six six screws okay total of six screws you need to remove it in order to pop this uh, back plate and then also for you to you need to heat this up this is uh, is attached to the rear I mean the front facing camera and for the front facing camera you need to pop this uh, two screw right here one two in order to take it apart okay so since I purchased the whole set that come with the ear uh, earpiece uh, front facing camera and then the home button I and ho hopefully come with the back plate so I don't need I should come with the back plate because this one is attached to the to the f camera so it should come with the whole set like this so that's why I'm not taking a power right now so uh, please uh, be sure to like this video and give a thumbs up and if you got any question uh, please uh, comment below And please uh, be sure to share this with your friend on social media. If their uh, screen is uh, broken off like this, apart from your uh, smartphone, your iPhone uh, 6, 6S, 5, 5C, you know, they all similar method in order to take it out like this. You just need to uh, use a plastic uh, prying tool or your uh, long fingernail to pry open so thank you for watching and then uh, I'll see you guys on the next video and, or tutorial thank you for watching peace out guys peace